So the Heikendorf Panther video was one of the first videos that really got a lot of attention and it, it almost has 400k views now and more than a thousand uh, likes. It's really amazing how fast it, the news went about this video and yeah it really got a lot of attention on other sites and it really helped me out getting to almost 9k subscribers now but don't worry this is not all about that old video i have a little update for you guys so a little heads up for the guys that didn't see the previous video here's some history about the tank and what uh, eventually happened with it so in july of 2015 the news sites were full of this panther tank that was found in this guy's house in Heikendorf, germany other news sites didn't even say anything about the tank but just reported about the stolen horses of Joseph Torek and about the Nazi art black market and the owner of the panther tank Herflick was accused of trying to sell these horses on the black market. Other news sites just flat out called them a Nazi. Of course this news spread fast because there was a tank found in a guy's house. The Nazi art news was pretty much forgotten pretty fast but as fast as this news had came to us there was no little news left about this tank and where it was going and what they would do with it. In 2016 some fake news sites claimed that the tank was back with its owner but nobody in the town took pictures of the tank like they did before so this was just big bullshit. So that was it. Nobody knew what happened to it and we pretty much still don't. So where did this panther came from? Uh, it is pretty interesting story because this panther was made by the British Army after the war. It was number four of the panthers and jack panthers built by the British. It was probably placed on a target range and then bought by a scrap merchant uh, in a war department sale in the 1950s. It somehow ended up in a scrapyard in Surrey, England and was then later discovered in 1977. It was taken back to Germany after it was bought and it was restored to running condition. So after the first video a lot of people went apeshit and pretty much said the government stole its property. Not really. The government was looking into the stolen arts case and were doing a house search of his property and found stolen artwork so they cleaned out his house. The government knew about the tank and the army helped restore the Panther engine in 2010 so it was nothing new for them. Probably they are not even happy about having the panther because now they need to pay for it and they already have a lot of budget problems when it comes to World War II panzers. But what do I know? Hm? You're an idiot! Uh, yes, I'm an idiot. Yeah. So what happened? Now, it all started with a Dutch black market art dealer Stephen M. He was trying to sell two missing bronze horses made by Joseph Torek. Apparently the panther owner Herr Flick was a known Nazi in Germany and the owner of the horses so this got a lot of attention by Nazi hunters. Stephen M helped Herr Flick with the black market arts deal because Flick wanted to get rid of a lot of Nazi memorabilia because he did not want to be associated with it anymore. So they searched his house, found the stolen art and a lot of weapons. And sites are not really clear about this but Herr Flick already went to court and that did not really work out that well so now he will go to court for the second time for the art deal and for of course for the weapons so what i found to be really funny is that the media reports only about the panther the horses or that the guy was a nazi they do this because they probably want to relate to a lot of people so they split up one story into three sometimes not even telling about the arts case at all so a headline of a new site sounds better when it says panther found in some guy's house and not two bronze horses found in some guy's house it seems like these nazi hunter cases are getting a bit out of hand like these nazi hunters are getting a bit frustrated it is sad that we did not get all these evil nazis but now they are going after random people maybe we should forget about this frustration and hate and just focus more on the history so a war like that one will never happen again.